Hello, it's Dave. Uh, I just got a haircut. Uh, it's uh, March 29th, 2018. It's around, I guess, 2.30 in the afternoon. What I wanted to just say is there's a certain way that you need to adapt yourself to be able to survive in this camp, the satanic hellhole camp called Canada. There are ways that you can distinguish whether you're going to get service or not or how you're going to be treated based on numbers and of addresses, based on price lists that would be on the store, based on the decor. If you're with Christ or against Christ, it determines whether you get service or you don't, whether you get shit service, whether you get overcharged or undercharged. That's how life goes here. There's games that are played that between the two sides of how you can behave and how you can live here otherwise you cannot get anything you cannot it's, it's difficult you you would have a very difficult time and the way to communicate with people here the clones is very different it's extremely different and if you don't understand how they communicate you're going to have problems all the time there's it's it's amazing to me because out of all the books i've read on nazi germany and mao and all of these regimes pol pot it's exactly the same here. There's all of a sudden now, there's these two ways of communicating. There's a subtle, there's the real way of what you're saying, and then there's the fake way, and they're not the same. It's just exactly like Eastern Europe, and you know, all the communist countries just, it shocks me how quickly Canada has changed from an open and free place to this place where you have to, you have to play certain subservient role if you're Canadian here otherwise you're going to have major major problems because you're looked upon as a second class citizen if a citizen is at all you're looked upon really it's just something wild untamed animal that needs to be marshaled it's it's a strange way of living but I just had this haircut and the way that I played the game would have determined if things got worse or if they got if they stabilized and I was given like the minimal support, minimal service because I am with Christ. I get the sense that the truth of what's going on here is really not is not being told to you people because there's a gigantic religious thing going on here and if you don't know about it then you're being lied to. Everyone needs to know what's going on here. I need to get out of here because you need to know what's really really going on in here and I know that you're not being told the truth.